I'm going to make this a quick one, you guys. So this week in news, I'm recording on Friday night. It's been a busy week. I just got back from Atlanta. And I'm so glad I did. Ty Roach made this compelling article about how one of his customers is able to was able to save a bunch of capital using his product to let them take care of other bills related to the service now. If you would like to realize more value out of your service now setup, I'd highly check it out. This is not a paid bit by Ty Roach or by Tiger Consulting. I just think it's a fantastic story and stories like this should be elevated and shared and praised because service now is expensive. There's a lot of value to it, but if you're going to use it, you should get the most value for that dollar. Thanks Ty for sharing. Everyone is talking about Tokyo. Cask did a great pre Tokyo release overview with the Druv and Ashutosh. And uh, they covered a lot of topics about the features that they're looking forward to. And then we had two different videos, the tech now with Chuck Tomasi and Jeremy. And then we had the let's code happy hour with MG Pow and Earl and Andrew Barnes and a whole bunch of other people. Uh, I want to call out Earl Duque's uh, way of going through the new uh, JavaScript features on the server side it was fantastic. Great job with the lightning round of how the different features work that are JavaScript D4 folks that may not have seen that before. Those are some complicated topics and I'm glad you went through them. I'm a little sad that uh, those features don't exist for global yet and I really hope that that idea on the idea portal doesn't get closed. And if it does, it should be reopened for global. Um, but it's progress. I'm really happy to see it's come along as far as it has. Christopher C wrote this post on LinkedIn about moving code with update sets uh, via a task board. I thought it was really compelling and an interesting way to move stuff. He doesn't share exactly the code, how he does it, but he talks through the process of how it works. So someone could recreate the methods he has there. If you have questions, I would highly recommend going to the article below and adding a comment or reaching out to Chris directly. Last but not least, Alan Andreas made a course on now learning called project roles and responsibilities. It's 30 minutes. I haven't taken it, but if it's like any of the rest of his content he's been making, it's going to be fantastic. It's more for, like I said, business analysts, but the fact that he was able to make content on the now learning platform is interesting. I don't know how one goes about that, but if Alan, if you're watching and you know, uh, can you put a comment below to direct people in that general direction? And that's all that I have for the news this week. I, I do want to make a shout out to um, Fedoric for saying thanks to John Dahl for helping him out with stuff on the community. And yeah, that's where we're going to end it. Short and sweet.